Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. Today I've got a really exciting review to do for you. I've been talking this up for a few weeks now and it finally arrived earlier this week. We are gonna take a look at this new BenQ HT 5550 Home Cinema 4K projector. So this projector is real 4K, true 4K, which is unlike the Epson projector I had previously. That projector was a pixel shifting projector which took a 1920 by 1080 image and shifted the pixels very quickly to create a 4K image. This is a true 4K image from BenQ and so I'll be interested to compare right out of the box how do the visuals look, do some calibration, run some demos for you and talk through some of the setup and unboxing. So that's what will be in today's video. If you do like home theater reviews, 4K, Blu-ray collecting, anything like that, definitely subscribe to the channel. Our goal is to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year and we're getting very close. So I appreciate anybody who subscribes at this point and thank you to all the subscribers who have been with me since the beginning. You guys are awesome. So with that being said, let's jump into this BenQ HT 5550 review. So turning now to look at the projector, I just fired it up for the first time. I literally haven't even calibrated it yet, but you can see that it is a little bit smaller than my Epson which is better for this room. It has less depth to it. And so previously the Epson projector would have been right up against these seat backs with the uh, lens. And now I've got some good space uh, behind the chairs for the vents to really flow and not get so hot. That is a huge help. And I'm able to push this back about a foot. So I'm actually going to get a larger image. So right off the bat, those were a few things that really appealed to me about the BenQ. I also really like the black color. Obviously it matches with the, with the seating. It looks better in the room with the black shelf, the black seats, black projector. Um, but a couple things quality wise that I'm noticing off the bat, um, it does have a lens cap, which you have to manually, uh, you know, put on and take off each time. The Epson automatically had a lens cap that would come across and come back across when you were done with it. It was automatic. You didn't need to replace the lens cap each time. So, you know, there's a little bit higher quality production value in that, but this one does have um, a dust guard, but unfortunately, because of the way I'm using it, um, it would only work if it was flipped the other way and preventing the dust from getting on the, uh, on the lens. So I'll probably still have to dust this thing. Um, it also has, you know, a little bit of, of cheaper features, I would say. Uh, one of the first things I noticed out of the box was the remote here doesn't have the options, as far as I can tell, for um, adjusting the lens. So, you know, it has HDR options and different picture options, and it has the keystone option at the top, but it looks like the lens adjustments are only on the top of the projector here. And so I'm gonna have to manually do that um, with the projector on top of the projector itself. And you can see <clears throat> the room's kind of a mess because I've been doing some new stuff. But right off the bat, obviously, we're not uh, lined up. We're not calibrated. But the picture, you know, right out of the box looks very clean. So I'm excited. Now I'm going to get this thing all uh, calibrated, get it all, um, you know, matched to my screen and get the aspect ratio and sizing correct. Uh, and then we'll come back and do some demos. All right. So I just got that set up um, to where I need it. For now, there's still some adjustments to make, but it's good enough to demo uh, and start showing off some 4K content. Honestly, not that easy. The Epson was a lot easier to set up and calibrate uh, just to my screen. The manual knobs on the top of the BenQ are really kind of difficult to, to navigate. They only moved it in a diagonal direction up and down, which was really odd. Um, and then I had to play with the vertical keystone a little bit to get that set up. I mean, overall, it didn't take me that long. It maybe took um, 10 or 15 minutes, but the Epson was a lot smoother and felt like I could get a much finer adjustment uh, than I could with manually uh, adjusting these knobs with the remote and with the computer on the projector. Uh, even the zoom on this, as well as the focus, is just done right on the lens, just turning it left and right to zoom and uh, adjust the focus. So it is a very manual, it feels kind of old school in that way, especially for a 4K projector. So I'm a little surprised by that. The one thing that is very nice though is the picture. And I can see just right here on the home screen of the Xbox that we're getting some really good colors and some really nice resolution. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pop in a couple reference discs. Kong Skull Island is one that I always like to show off. 
And then I'm probably going to show off 2001, um, A Space Odyssey, and then go with uh, The Lion King because I, I really like the colors in that one. So we'll, we'll pop in those three. We'll take a look at each one on the screen uh, and compare it to how the Epson looked. So you can see right off the bat here, we're getting some really, really nice color. Um, <clears throat> you know, things are looking very clear. And I feel like I reviewed The Lion King and I feel like I can already see the difference in 4K. This is a beautiful shot here. Tons of color and detail. And I really feel like I can tell the difference between, you know, the, the pixel shifting 4K and this true 4K picture. It is really clean and sharp. Um, this is really well done. And The Lion King looks great here in this opening sequence. I mean, details are incredible on this release anyway, but look at this quality. Um, you know, it is absolutely incredible. I'm actually, I'm a little bit blown away because I thought the Epson projector had an amazing image and this one is just over the top good so far. So I just paused right on this shot here because the level of detail in the hair is incredible in this close up. I mean, you can see every pore on this lion's face and it, every hair follicle. I mean, that's incredible, incredible picture quality. So, so far, high remarks for this BenQ HT 5550. So for the next sequence, instead of doing Kong Skull Island, I actually opted for uh, Mission Impossible Fallout because of this helicopter sequence. So you can see it flipping back and forth between standard and IMAX ratio. Um, and the color, it's really hard to see when I'm shooting this with, you know, just a camera. But the detail here is really incredible. Um, you know, take a quick peek in uh, close up on Tom Cruise here on the controls on the dash. I mean, you can read every dial and the, the, the quality of the HDR is what's really, really nice. You can see these colors just popping off the screen. Um, you know, really vibrant stuff. And then, uh, you know, just like I said, the level of detail, and this is a true 4K release, uh, 4K DI. So you can really tell the difference when you get one of these in there. But what an incredible scene. Uh, it's a little tough because there's some glare in the scene, but like the colors here are awesome. And I haven't even calibrated this yet. This is simply a head-to-head -head shootout with the Epson without calibration. And I am super impressed right now. Now, last but not least, we've got 2001 A Space Odyssey, and just check out the detail here. It is so crystal clear. I mean, it's really even hard to make out any of the pixels, which I feel like I could definitely make out, um, you know, when I was watching on the Epson, just because of the pixel shift. But here, it's just so clean. I mean, you can see the grain, but the edges are so refined everything is really nice i'm zoomed in obviously uh right now but <clears throat> really clean image and the hdr 10 is is pretty powerful you know it doesn't have dolby vision because it's a projector but the hdr 10 on this looks really really nice and i haven't even calibrated it is supposed to be you know in quotations calibrated out of the box uh for a home theater so there's definitely a really nice look to it but this is um I'm really impressed with BenQ on this HT5550. So back in the light here, and if, if we're being honest here, the, the BenQ HT5550 definitely just blew the Epson out of the water when it comes to out of the box calibrated image, the 4K, the detail, you know, I can really, you can tell the difference at this big a screen. You know, it's only a 92 inch screen because my room is smaller but you can immediately tell a difference with this size screen when the the detail is better because it's so large, you're going to expose any little imperfections. And so the I can immediately tell, wow, so this is real 4K. This looks more like what my you know TV looks like compared to the pixel shifting projector, which had great color, but definitely lacked in the detail at times. So just a couple technical specs about this projector if you're interested in buying it. It has a 100,000 to one contrast ratio. It has 1800 ANSI lumens. So those are like, don't go on Amazon and look at a projector that says, oh, it has 3000 lumens. That's all like garbage. You gotta get the ANSI standard. Um, it also has the, like I said, the 
real 8.3 million pixels. It's true 4K 2160p resolution. Um, there is no funny business going on here with a 1080p picture being, you know, phased out over um, the pixel shifting. It just portrays a true 4K. It uses all 8.3 million pixels, which is where I'm really seeing that highly uh, upgraded detail. Uh, the fine details are, are so much better. And then the price point, it's right around $2,500. So it's actually a pretty good price for a true 4K projector. You could pay more for a Sony. Those are going to be four or five grand. And they probably have, you know, they have the laser projector, which is probably nicer. But, you know, for a uh, pretty typical home theater, 2500 bucks for a 4K projector is not a bad deal. I think that's right around the right price point. There's also the HT uh, 3550 and 2550, which are even cheaper. They get down to like 1500 bucks, um, And I'm not sure what their exact specs are, so I won't talk to them. I don't have one to look at. But they are 4K projectors as well, so that's something to look at from the BenQ line. If 2500 for the uh, kind of mid-tier HT5550 is too much. Then if money isn't an issue, BenQ has some $8,000, $9,000 projectors, but those are really more for a professional theater installation. So overall, I am pretty impressed with this. I have some work to do to calibrate it, and I will follow up in future reviews and talk more about this um, once I really dig into the calibration settings. But for right out of the box, it is definitely a better picture than the Epson 5050. Um, although I will say that it's limited on its features. So the lens cap not being automatic, you know, you're going to forget to put that on. It could get scratched up. Epson's always covers it. Epson had much better lens shifting um, just to adjust the camera and had many more options on the remote control without needing to go to manual knobs on the projector itself for zooming and focus. It had a little more fine-tuned control. So if you're really a freak about... Um, you know, the placement of the picture, making sure it's a perfect fit to your screen. Maybe the Epson's a better choice. I personally don't care as much to get a perfect fit on the screen. I just want it to be on the screen, be squared off, be, you know, at 90 degree angles, look good, and just get really good detail and picture and great color, which I think I'm getting here from the BenQ. The HDR was really impressive. I have some tweaks I could make to that. At points, it was a little bit dark. I think that I could brighten that up a little bit in my calibration. But I also really love the footprint. For a smaller room, this makes a lot more sense than the Epson. The Epson was just a little too big and bulky. You really needed more space. This gives me a lot more breathing room. I can move the chairs back. I can get further away from the screen, which is a better experience. And I get better visual quality because I'm further away, right? If I'm too close to the screen, you're going to start seeing pixels no matter what. Being further away, you get a better picture and you can maximize your screen size. So that's what I really wanted. And that's what I got here with the BenQ. So thank you for watching this review, guys. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the demos here. Obviously, I'm shooting on a camera and then uploading to YouTube only in 1080. I'm not going to upload in 4K because it literally just takes too long and it takes up all the space on my camera until I get a better camera. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but you can see the color and you can see the detail even on a 1080p picture through YouTube. You can see the difference in detail here versus if you look at my Epson 5050 video, I think there's definitely an improvement. Um, so, you know, there's some give some takeaways here. You know, the BenQ, a little bit of a cheaper build, a little bit less features, but better picture quality. And that's what really matters to me. So thanks to BenQ for sending this. I'll leave a link down in the description to their website as well as to the Amazon page where you can purchase this BenQ projector. I'll also put links to a few other BenQ projectors uh, if the, they're out of your price point and you want something a little cheaper. So check those out. Remember to follow me on Instagram. Check out my merchandise. We're going to be running a Black Friday sale, 10% off all merchandise starting tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'll be posting that on YouTube and Instagram. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, comments about the projector. I'd be happy to try and help you out. But I'm really excited to fire this thing up, do some 4K reviews with it and let you guys know what I think of it once I get it fully calibrated. But it makes more, much more sense for my room 
I know in the last video I had a lot of comments about the Epson being overkill and so I'm excited that I have this kind of more compact projector that can also do true 4k and give me a great picture so huge props to BenQ for that I appreciate them working with me I'll talk to you guys soon I have much more content coming hope you have a great Thanksgiving good luck on Black Friday and I'll be back soon with more videos